Alright guys, so I'm gonna teach you how to paint a Dorito today. Let's go! So first I'm mixing up some blue, some ultramarine blue, some lizard and crimson. Just trying to get a really dark color going here. Uh, I usually use that for uh, for my black tones instead of using black, but you can do a little bit of both. But I'm trying to do this really fast because I edited it and I didn't realize how fast it's going. But so originally we're just filling in the background. Um, let's see here. Yep, yep. Some black. We're gonna lighten it up a little bit. Move out of those really dark, dark areas and get some uh, light going in that uh, fabric we got when we set up the still life. So a little bit more of the light. Just give me the light and pass the drum. So, maybe I could have cut this out a little bit, but uh, in that light, oh, my computer's dying. Let's go plug her in. Adding, 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 adding light and stuff to the background. Hopefully, that makes sense to you. You're really just adding white and maybe like a little bit of blue. Um, just give it a little bit more interest than just the gray. Try and get a little blue. And then what are we doing here? We're adding some yellow ochre. I think we're going down to the table area, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see what happens. Mixing, mixing. Yep. We're on the table. Uh, so yeah, what you can see there is uh, it's kind of how I always work. I just uh, start with an initial color and then kind of adjust it. So I had like the really dark color and then using some of uh, the leftover mix from that to get into the table. And uh, you can see how I'm even making it lighter as I go along. Um, <sighs> What am I doing here? I'm going pretty red, so I'm thinking I'm doing the, um, just kind of, I don't know, I don't want to say anything, let's see, okay, yeah, um, so we're getting a little closer to the Dorito, so we're adding a little bit lighter colors just to make it pop a little bit, and then now, if I'm not mistaken, we are going into the shadow area, it looks by how dark I'm making it here. Yep, shadow area. Um, yeah, like I said, you can see I was just kind of adjusting the mix I already had going there. So, a little bit of the shadow going in there. Uh, what else are we doing here? Okay, I think we're going Dorito mode. Oh, Dorito mode, because I was messing with the color mixing, and I don't think I was, yeah, yep, Dorito mode. Um, yeah, so I actually switched to a different red besides that Elysian Crimson, because um, that was not getting me that like orange Dorito color I was looking for, so I did the what was that cad red and then that really bright yellow and I was able to get more of that orange color that we all know and love so Dorito Dorito time just kind of filling her in there and I switched brushes there uh, just because I don't know the other one was too big and then i am been liking these uh, I don't know, I guess they're flat brushes and they're really like uh, at that really sharp angle on them, but you're able to fill in pretty quickly. But this is a small painting, so it was kind of tricky to even use that one to fill in such a small Dorito. But yeah, so when I'm doing this, I'm uh. Like I said, I kind of start with the initial color and then I'm adjusting as I go. And I'm looking at the reference image a lot and uh, kind of adjusting the value. 
by adding more of their red and maybe even some of the alerts are in crimson um, that darker red just so I can get different like tones and values and whatever you call that I always get that confused but just making it darker or lighter pretty much so I think I'm just showing you I'm doing that again um, okay and so this was like there's a little uh, I don't know shadow band around the shadow um, kind of like a transition into the shadow and then right here is in the shadow area that like reflected light coming through the Dorito there so yeah what is that well there's like a little ridge underneath of the Dorito probably when it was cooked um, there's like a little bubble or something so yeah, let's see how I do this um, yeah just looking at the reference and then uh, here we go again with the darker darker areas um, yeah I think it, this is a lot of the rest of the video is just kind of like poking at the Dorito um, and uh, really just trying to get kind of the transitions from where the light is hitting it and then um, the shadows where it's not hitting it kind of tricky with the Dorito because there's you know, there's a lot of texture on it so yeah it's a lot of uh, poking poking the Dorito until you uh, can start to bring out forms with the light and the shadow on those ridges let's see if I can uh, move ahead here Okay. Yeah, and so like I said, that part's kind of boring. So, uh, and also it was really difficult trying to hold my phone and film all this. So I just put that up behind me and kept painting, doing the thing, and hopefully I skip ahead a little here. But yeah, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, got all those ridges in there and then I'm going to be adding some of the detail in there you can see the uh, I don't know was that Dorito dust but um, yeah just using a really small brush and kind of just again like poking at it it's such a small piece that it's not a whole lot of room for a big brush work but yeah that's the finished Dorito hope you liked it